Okay, so this next video that we're going to talk about is uh, how to find the equation of a line, and then we're also going to talk about how this goes in with slope-intercept form. And from here, this idea of slope-intercept form, I hope that you can go take an equation of a line and you can turn it into a graph. Okay, it's sort of learning how to graph in a different way. I know you guys know how to graph using uh, input-output tables, and then this is just a little bit different way. Um, so hopefully you get uh, a pretty good idea of what's going on here, and uh, on Monday we can do some good practice and you guys will really get it. So first thing I want to do is let's take a look at a line here, okay? And the first thing I want to do is I want to look at, well, I want to identify two different aspects of this line. First, I want to, under, I want to uh, identify the y-intercept, okay? The y-intercept, again, is where the line crosses the y-axis. So here's the y-axis, so you need to identify the point at which this line crosses the y-axis. Well, hopefully you can notice, I mean, you're seeing right away that this point here, okay, the point that it crosses is at 0, negative 2, okay? 0, negative 2. Now, if you'll see here, B, B is this idea, B is sort of, if you can think of B as beginning, B, the beginning is also the y-intercept, okay? So the y-intercept is what's going to be 0, comma, B, Okay, so in this case, b is equal to negative 2, okay? b is equal to negative 2 because that's where it crosses the y-axis. And you only use negative 2 because we, we automatically know that it's going to be 0. So you can say, all right, start this line at negative 2. All right, now what I want to do is I want to take a look at this line and I want to find out, well, what is the slope, okay? Well, since I already have all the points put on here for you, it's pretty nice and easy, right? You can look at this and you can say, okay, well, from one point to the next, this goes up one, two, and right one. So my slope is going to be up two, right one, which is going to simplify over to uh, just two, okay? Well, let's go ahead and try this again. I want you to try one on your own here. So let me give you another line here. So here's another line, and I want you to pause the video, and I want you to come up and tell me what is the slope or I'm sorry, what is the y-intercept, and then what is the slope? Go ahead, pause the video, and find them now. All right, so taking a look at this, we know that the slope here, right, or I'm sorry, the y-intercept is going to be at where 0, comma, 3, right? It's where this crosses the y-axis here, so I have 0, comma, 3. So my actual intercept is going to be 3, okay, a positive 3. Now, slope, hopefully you said, all right, well, I know that, first of all, I know the slope is going to be positive. Second, because it does not, it's like a shallower line than the parent line, you know that it's going to be less than 1. And so you go, from here, you go up 1, right 2. Okay, So up 1, right 2. So my slope was going to be 1 half. So intercept 3, slope 1 half. Hopefully you got that one. Let's go ahead and let's try another one. Go ahead, pause the video here, and you figure out both the intercept and the slope. All right, well, let's see, first the intercept here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's at 0, comma, 4, right, which means my, no, my intercept is going to be a positive 4. And then the secondly, let's find the, the, the slope. So from here I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then left 1. So that would be negative 5 and negative 1, okay? Well, if I divide that, I'm going to end up with a positive 5. And that makes sense, right? It's pretty steep. It's also positive. So 5 makes sense, right? I didn't accidentally put 1 fifth. I did reverse it. All right, well, let's do one more here and get you guys <clears throat> feeling confident here. So first, uh, tell me what the y-intercept is and then find the slope. All right, so hopefully you notice that the slope, right? This is at 0, comma, negative 1. Okay, so my, or, I'm sorry, not slope, intercept. It's going to be negative 1. And then my slope is going to be, let's see, from here to the next point, I go down 1, 2, 3. So I go down 3. And then I go right 2. So I go right 2. Now let's check it. We got negative 3 over 2. Okay, so negative, that looks good. This is going to be greater than 1. And that, that looks right because it's steeper, right, than my, it makes a bigger angle than my parent line, right? It's steeper. If I had a parent line, it would sort of come across here, right? And this line is steeper. You know, if you were to put a, if you were to roll down this hill, you'd roll down faster than you would up the parent uh, line. Okay, well, that's the basic idea between slope and intercept. Now I want to show you how we're going to fit this together. All right, so there is this thing, 
and I think I've showed it to you already. It's called y equals mx plus b. This here, this is called slope-intercept form, okay? This is called slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form. Ugh, my circling is terrible right now. Okay? So this is, you definitely need to know this. It's sort of a, you know, one of the crutches you're going to use for graphing lines in uh, pre-algebra and algebra and beyond, okay? So here's the idea. You basically plug in the slope here for m, and you plug in the y-intercept here. So this becomes y equals, well, m, m is 2, 2x, two and my b is, you could write it as plus negative 2. And then the the nice way that you'll see it all the time is we'll do 2x minus 2. And there you go. There you have it. So just by looking at this line, you can look and you can say, ah, intercept negative 2, slope is 2. This is my equation. All right, well, let's get you some practice on here. So real quick, why don't you go ahead. You uh, go ahead and bring uh, write the equation of this line. Go. All right, so hopefully you did y equals mx plus b. Okay. And so then we know that y is equal to, well, m is 1 half times x and then plus 3. There you have it. That's the equation. All right, try another one. All right, go ahead, do this one, and go. Okay, let's see. Hopefully you got y is equal to mx plus b, and so that equals y is equal to, well, the slope is 5x plus 4. And there you have it. All right, last one. <clears throat> go ahead and try that one. All right, hopefully you got y equals, oops, making a mess on here. You got uh, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so then you're going to get y is equal to negative 3 halves times x, and then your b minus 1. Okay, so what I'm hoping now is, is that if you can create a the equation, right? You can create the equation from the line, then I'm hoping you can reverse it. Now that you understand how that works, that if I give you an equation such as, let's say, y equals uh, 3 fourths x plus 2, that you would know, one, where to start, and then two, how to find another point based on the slope. And then from there, you can make a line, and you have it. Okay? Bring your notes to class on Monday. I'll check them in for credit.